Hello everyone and welcome to my first ride on my new 2022 Polygon Extrata 7. It was my 28th birthday a few weeks ago and my amazing girlfriend got me this bike as a gift uh, since I had actually sold my, my old Diamondback XC bike. Before I even went for the first ride, I swapped out the grips and the pedals. The ones that came with the bike were pretty worthless and I'm sure that most people that get this will probably want to change them out from the beginning. First impressions is that this feels like a nimble cross-country bike. The last XC bike I rode was a carbon Diamondback Overdrive 29er with a 71 degree head tube angle. With this new bike, I was a little concerned that the 67 degree head tube angle would feel less agile and nimble, but I'm actually very pleased with how this feels. It feels very stable on the downhills and plenty nimble over roots and twisty trails. I really do think this is a perfect compromise and makes the bike very utilitarian. The top tube does feel a little short for the frame size it is. Maybe this is common among newer XC bikes, but to me, the top tube feels short and I'm very upright on the bike. This is probably what a lot of people are looking for in this kind of frame, but I do like to be a little more stretched out, especially since I've started riding so much gravel. I think putting a slightly longer stem will be my first change, which actually leads me into the second change I want to make. And this one is a very personal preference of mine. Many riders will have varying opinions on this. I don't like straight flat bars, or bars without a lot of back sweep. I think the bars that came on this bike have only about 5 degrees of back sweep, and I really like my bars to be in the 12 degree range. For me, straight bars cause a pressure point between my thumb and index finger, and I get a lot of hand pain very quickly. Because of that, I am going to swap on a set of Marin bars that I've been using for several years on various bikes that have the right amount of back sweep for me. The Shimano drivetrain works perfectly as expected. I did have to do a few cable adjustments out of the box, but after that, it's been flawless. The tires are surprisingly good despite being the budget option. They have great grip and are surprisingly supple. They conform very well to the trail surface. I will be setting these up tubeless in an upcoming video, even though they technically aren't tubeless ready. The Shimano brakes are totally adequate, they're nothing special, but they work well enough that I don't really have any issues at all using them for the next few years. On this first ride, the air fork did feel a little harsh, and like it had a, a little too much stiction, but before I rode, I really only did a quick sag check, and I didn't really take the time to do it you know, properly or adjust anything else. So. Before I take it on my next ride, I'm going to make sure that I do that, and I'm sure that the fork will feel much better after I actually adjust it for my weight. The only other little issue I found is that the water bottle bosses are a little too tall on the seat tube. My bottle doesn't fit without hitting the bottom of the top tube, so I'll just need to get an adapter that will lower that cage a little bit so my bottle will fit. So that pretty much sums up my first thoughts after riding this bike. Anything that I didn't mention or focus on was probably because I didn't really have any thoughts on it, meaning that it was totally adequate. Let me know in the comments what questions you guys have, and I will do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching, and hit the subscribe and the notification bell to follow along with the future changes I make to this bike.